Previously on the night shift. I'm the doctor. We're gonna take the branch out and do a DPO. Uh, where'd you learn that? Afghanistan. Medically speaking, TC is irreplaceable. Everybody can be replaced. So you either get in line or you are out of here. <clears throat> now we're even. TC drives me nuts, but there's no shock there. Sounds like an interesting story. Yeah, it's a long one. I know we're not together anymore, but it doesn't mean that I've stopped caring about you. I love hearing from my new boss that I'm banging her ex. Mm. Thanks for the heads up on that one. Listen up, everybody. The night shift starts in five minutes. You got five minutes, and then you're mine. Well, let's bet 100 we each on the Ducks, minus 28. Uh, ASU minus four, LSU minus 12, uh, K-State plus five and a half, and the Aggies minus six. If you lose, I'm not loaning you any more money. I'm serious. I have twins on the way. My wife's gonna kill me. I paid you back the 400. You owed me 800. Hey, tough friend. Dr. Alexander. TC. Hey. Do you just look for opportunities to take your shirt off? I remember when you used to look for opportunities to take my shirt off. I remember walking in on one of those opportunities. You think maybe you can show me a modicum of respect as your boss? Only when we're on duty. Ah. Uh -huh. That felt good. I don't know, Tia. I think she's still into you. One, two, three. Come on, one, two, three. Slits the rope. You gotta fight next week. Can't let the army down. Finish up, finish up. Slits the rope. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What's up, Miss Krista? Not much. Huh? Come on, show me what you got. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me what you got. Come on, two, three, two. One more. Okay, not bad for a girl. <laughs> hey, how's that for a girl? <laughs> that was pretty good. Did I not mention that she trains? Sorry about that. Yo, pour water. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's coming! You, you want another one? Ma'am. I will leave when I am good and ready. You are ready. You just have a sprained ankle. A severely sprained ankle. Now let me finish. Oh, and you need to get me a wheelchair. I can't possibly bear any weight. Pain is a 10 out of 10. Get her the wheelchair. Hey, hey sweetie. How are you, hon? I was cool. She did. Forearm fractures open on the left. Send a trauma panel and type in cross for six. And someone notify ortho. Kenny, Paul, you're with me. You're gonna stab him to the neck. Guess we know why he crashed, right? Penetrating neck trauma zone two. GCS 111. Place two large bore IVs. Set up for intubation. Guarding in the left lower quadrant. Tell CAT scan we're coming as soon as he's two. TC, we have an officer involved shooting GSW to the chest. They said to tell you it's Deputy Woods. Nick, Nick Woods, call the chopper. They're bringing him straight here in the cruiser. All right, set up a thoracotomy tray and trap the rapid infuser. Let's get out there. Can I go with him? Don't look at me. Go, go, go. So you fell off your bike? Yes, he fell. Fast, where are you going, bud? Not fast, he just fell awkwardly. <sighs> Okay. Well, let's get some x-rays. We'll be right back. How is she? She has an open comminuted Galeazzi fracture. She's headed to the OR for a washout and internal fixation. I'm guessing the ankle sprain is no longer her biggest concern. I just checked with our lawyers. Because she refused to get out of the ambulance before it was hit, she technically was not on hospital property. So the hospital and I have zero liability. She has to sue the city. I'm off the hook. How great is that? We should throw a party. Call on duty interns, report to nursing station. Light Call on duty interns. All right, let's see what we have under here. Oh, man. You still with us, Paul? Yes, ma'am. Good. Turns out our friend here tried to rob a gas station, and the attendant wasn't having it. So we'll get him to the OR and tell the cops they can question him in a few hours. Tilford, your wife just called. She wants you to bring home some hemorrhoid meds. The magic is still alive. So there's no way the kid fractured his arm falling off a bike. His mom won't even let him answer, but it's like he doesn't want to answer or he can't. I don't know. Normally I just call a social worker, but I can't put my finger on it. Boy, it just seems off. OK, let's get a nurse to pull the mom out for paperwork and we'll talk to him a lot. This is 
is Nick. Let's move. EMS said the ambulance was 30 minutes out, so I brought him in. Armored piercing and went right through his vest. I haven't been able to stop the bleeding. He passed out about three minutes ago. I'm losing his pulse. We gotta crack the chest. Okay. So, we need you to cover these cases to free up the attendings for the, uh, the real emergencies. Hmm? Uh, fantastic. I'm 100% ready. A and listen, I am um, more into diagnosis than surgery anyway, so like. Well, then this is perfect. Does this hurt? Anthony? Does this hurt when I touch it? A little. Yeah. Where am I? You're in a hospital. Do you remember your mother bringing you in? No, not really. Can you remember anything about how you got hurt? Did somebody hit you? Did you fall? I don't know. You can tell us. It'll be our secret. Where am I again? Okay. Hey, you want to play a game on my phone? Okay. Multiple rib fractures, various stages of healing. He's been treated somewhere. Time to call child services? Not yet. They're too overwhelmed. They'll just bury him in the system. He's definitely been traumatized, physically and emotionally. By the mother? Possibly. Or a relative. But something's clearly off. To find out what's going on, I need time to run an MMSE and APS test, but I can't hold him with only a fractured arm. Unless, of course, there was another diagnosis. What if I were to admit him for concussion syndrome? We'll say he's complaining of nausea headaches. We'll say it's from the bike fall. It'll buy you a little bit of time. That's great. Thank you. All right, I'll start a background check on the mom and then run the test on the boy. Perfect. Uh, Mrs. Franklin. Hi. I am Dr. Cummings. Okay. Uh, well, what can I help you with this evening? It burns. Uh, what, what burns? Down here. I think that a-hole Charlie Knight gave me an STD. Yes, STD, okay. Uh, sure, that... <laughs> Wait a minute. This is, uh, this is a joke. I know what this is, okay? Uh, Kenny? Kenny? Nice try, buddy. Nice. Uh, Kenny put you up to this, obviously. Did these sores look like a joke to you? Oh, my 